Good evening students. Hope you all are fine. Today I am going to explain the third chapter from class 5 EVS from tasting to digesting. So children, when we take food, we get the taste of the food. So what are the different tastes? Few food which taste salty. Samosa, salted cashew nuts, french fries. Next, there are few food items which taste sweet. Cake, pudding, candy, ice creams, chocolates. So, this food they taste sol uh, sweet. Sorry. There are few food items which taste sour like lime, gooseberry, curd. Few food items are there which taste bitter, bitter gourd, methi, the neem. So, these food items they taste bitter. Name a taste other than the four basic tastes. So, these are four basic tastes sweet salty, sour and bitter and except these four basic tastes there is one more taste it is called umami. Now meat, fish, soya bean, mushroom these food items they taste umami. Now when we feel hungry we take food ok. So what are the functions of food? Food gives us energy, food helps us to grow, food also helps to fight against diseases. Now, when we take food, it goes through our mouth, it enters our body through our mouth. Now from this picture, you can see what are the interior parts of our mouth. You know, teeth are there inside our mouth and these front teeth they are called incisors. In next higher classes you will learn about this teeth structure ok. Just I am telling that these two front on the upper jaw and two on the low, lower jaw these four teeth they are called incisors. Next we have soft palate what you call talu in Hindi. That red portion on the upper jaw, hard one, that is called soft palate. Next, evula. Evula is there. You can feel the evula. You can see also if you open your mouth, then you can see if you stand before a mirror and you open your mouth, then you can see this evula. Next, we have tonsils. You must have heard this name of this organ also. If you uh, take cold food items, uh, if you take ice creams more, sometimes your parents say your, uh, you have, you can feel also pain on your tonsils and it gets infected ma uh, many times. That's why you should avoid cold things. No, So, these are tonsils and uh, next tongue which is the vital part of our mouth. Okay. Now, what are the functions of tongue? Tongue helps us to speak. Tongue helps us to get the taste of food. Now, the tiny bumps present on the surface of the tongue which help us to get the taste are called taste buds. So, the taste buds help us to get the taste of the food items. The location of taste buds. So, this is a human tongue and these are the regions where you can get those tastes. So, on the tip of the tongue we can taste the sweet food items and next sour food items. On both sides of the tongue you can see the green, greenery portion that is sour. There we can taste the sour food items. Next it is salty food items. 
the region where we can taste the salty food items and this portion this is bitter here we can taste the bitter food items and in the middle region we can taste the umami food items next digestion so the process by which the complex food we take changes into simple soluble form and energy is released this process is called digestion this is the digestive system of human beings so through this picture you can see how food travels in our body so through our mouth we take the food and through esophagus the food goes into stomach in mouth we have saliva a juice present in our mouth is saliva when you chew the food with our teeth the food mixes with the saliva and digestion begins in the mouth then through food food pipe or esophagus food goes into the stomach stomach is like a muscular bag in stomach one digestive acid is present that is hydrochloric acid which helps in digestion in stomach the protein food gets digested and the undigested food goes into the small intestine in small intestine you can see this is the small intestine portion in small intestine digestion ends and digested food mixes with the blood undigested food goes into the large intestine this portion is the large intestine you can see large in the outside outer portion that is large intestine so the food comes into large intestine the water is absorbed here and the undigested food the waste material it comes out from the body through rectum and anus this is the anus portion and that is rectum through rectum and anus the food undigested food comes out of the body so this is the human digestive system in human body this is the flow chart of journey of food from mouth the food goes into the stomach then it goes into the small intestine then goes into the large intestine then through rectum and anus the waste material comes out from the body so here i have explained the same thing again what are the functions of these internal organs i have written mouth stomach small intestine and large intestine how they helps in digestion process next there are few more organs which are involved in digestion that is liver the largest internal organ in the body which secretes the juice bile next gall bladder bile juice is stored in gall bladder and helps in digestion pancreas it is in the back side of stomach it secretes enzymes which help in digestion now balanced diet you must have heard this name from doctors also so balanced diet is the diet which contains adequate and nutritious food once body requires is called balanced diet so all of you should take balanced diet and balanced diet can help you to fight against diseases and to get proper energy which you need now junk food the food which taste good but has no nutritional value they are called junk food from the pictures only you can identify the food i know that is pizza burgers so you should try to avoid the junk food 
because they can cause obesity hmm, they can cause different diseases also obesity that means the body weight when increases very much then it is called obesity which can cause ultimately different diseases that's why you should avoid the junk food so i want to give this message through this chapter that eat good food and be healthy thank you